Welcome to Dark Sun Gaming. My name is Chris, and in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at how to play Explosive Chain Battle. So this brand new mode has just come out. I have had a chance to kind of play around with it a little bit, and I want to be able to kind of give you guys some quick pointers on what you need to do to at least get started, because one of the most important things to remember that when it comes to Explosive Chain Battle is it changes every so often so uh, it, this particular one is now up for seven days as you can see up to the top there it says uh 7d left so there's gonna be a certain rotation that these are going to be coming around so you're gonna have an opportunity with this to earn some very great rewards and be able to go from that point so um first and foremost uh if you do have some additional questions you do have the question mark in the uh, info that you guys can go and tap into those if you want to read through and find out a little bit of information but the first thing you want to do when before you even get started is take a look at the battle info so if you go into the battle info this is going to give you an idea of who you're facing so this particular time we're going to be facing evil heart corrosion boo super so super boo um it tells you which categories are going to be strong so majin boo saga fusion and super saiyan 3 are going to be your, your three strongest categories and then it tells you some special characters that can deal some additional damage so these characters here are going to be who you want as one of your characters now when it comes down to it you're going to select three of your characters to be able to go into it. And you're going to want those three characters to go into the battle to be one of these three characters that you have here in order to get the most damage. And I'll explain to that once I get to that point. If you're curious about some battle results here, you can go through and we can take a look at a handful of people, uh, what they have done, and then you can kind of get an idea. So right here, we've got the homie Goresh. So we can actually take a look and you can get an idea as far as what to do and who to use as some of your characters, maybe to build your team around them a little bit. Now, what's interesting is when you look at the teams and the types, those are random. So let me just kind of explain how that actually gets to that point. If you go over here, the very first thing you're going to want to do is supporters and lending, uh, for supporters for lenders. So the first thing you're going to want to do is actually rotate these around and you're actually going to want to go through and take a look at each of the sagas. So uh, we've got Majin Buu Saga that's up. You're going to see that you're going to have like the uh, Stardust or whatnot that's blue that's kind of uh, shifting up. That shows that that is a strong category. If we were to switch to any other category you're gonna notice that those go away. So that means that is not a good category to use or to help other people. So what you wanna do then is just go ahead and get a category that's gonna help people out. Now, if you look at that AGL Gohan there, you're gonna notice that he's red and blue. That means that he is a good unit to have as one of your uh, attacking units. So you're gonna want to utilize him because he's basically kind of double dipping, if you will, uh, for some of the different things that go through. Um, but it really doesn't make a difference. So if we actually turn around and change the saga, let's say to fusion, because that was one of the other ones, you're gonna notice all these characters here all have the uh, the blue stardust that's kind of raising up. So um, I'm gonna use Majin Buu as the, the main one I wanna focus on. There's a lot that you can choose from. Um, but you can actually go through and take a look here. I have selected a couple units that are both uh, that hit all three categories. So you've got the uh, Gotenks that are there, uh, and then you have your Gohans. The Gohans are going to be really important because you want synergy with category. That is one of the components, but you also want to make sure that they're good linking partners. Um, because if they're not good linking partners, you're not going to be able to help somebody out with that. So we're just going to go ahead and select there. The extreme type is the exact same thing. The only difference is that it's extreme characters. So you're going to take two different types, super and extreme. You're basically taking 20 units total. These units, when it comes up to somebody to be able to select, is going to be completely random. So even though I could pick all of the ultimate Gohans, they may turn around and say, oh, well, no, we're going to go ahead and give you all the Gotens or the Gotenks. So there's a way that through RNG that it can really kind of make it difficult for people to be able to get. So being able to, to just kind of jump in right away, you can look, you've got your rankings. As you can see, I'm at the top 1%. The highest ranking that I've been able to get so far is 71 million. And that has gotten me to the top 1%. Hopefully here, I'll be able to kind of play around a little bit more and, and be able to get a, a higher ranking on that. Then if you also look at the battle log, you can see what your friends have done and people that have used your team. 
Um, so uh, just kind of going through here, um, Afrikuma Gaming. Uh, he was able to go through and utilize this system here. He used me as a friend, so I was able to see, okay, hey, I was able to help him out the best that I could. So uh, just jumping into it, we're just going to go ahead and hit start. Now, I've already got a team that's already kind of uh, up, so when we go into it, you're going to notice that. But the very first attacker, this is going to be any character you want to utilize. Now, again, you want it to be someone that is going to be hitting up. The attacker is important, but it's not dire you you don't want to just turn around and think oh my goodness i want to have ultimate gohan on there because maybe he's the absolute best you're going to want someone that's going to be strong so we're going to go ahead and just throw in the lr um uh, hercule in there just because of the fact that i do want to use as one of my connectors as my unit so once you actually have selected the uh, your main attacker then you can go down and select a support unit now your support unit is going to be your friends list so as you can see there that dbz fanatic that's that first one i've got um he's got five gohans on there that are going to help out with my connector and so if i actually go through right now and i can hit details up at the top where it says attacker versus chain power you're going to see details if you actually select that, you can see the current setup that I have is the amount of categories, types, and links. So this is going to be what you want to have the most of. So categories, let's take a look. The, the current um, team that I have right now is from Death Law. So I have got almost all my guys getting at least five or six categories that are going to match to my unit, which is that ultimate Gohan. That's why it's important to be able to utilize him because that's what everybody else is using as their supports. So that's why your connector, you want to match to your friend's support unit. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, so as you can see, I'm getting a 33 total there. I've got one that's a strength, so you get one boost there. And then you have your links. I'm getting a 28 total link from that. Now, if I scroll down and take a look at my extreme, I just kind of selected a, a random one. You can see I'm getting 18 uh, categories be, um, from the uh, from each one of those guys. So I'm going to get an 18 there, physicals times three, and then I get a 27 off of the link system so but you as you can see metamorphosis and fear and faith i only have one character that is linking with my connector so if that one character doesn't get selected because that part of it is also rng I, i'm i'm gonna be hurting if that's one of the one characters that goes through if i don't end up collecting the majin uh, infinite generation and the wall standing tall those i know all six of those guys i'm i'm if any one of those guys pop up, I'm going to know I'm going to get at least those three connectors, or excuse me, those three link skills. So that's why it's it's important to make sure that you're doing that. So it might seem a little strange right away, but let's go ahead, and I'm actually going to jump in. And as you can see, my fat boo just jumped me all the way through. So again, that's why it's very important for your connectors to be one of the fat boos or one of the characters that is both red and blue with the stardust going up you can tell that that really just immediately jumped up. So now we're gonna take a look at my chain battle. And with my guests here, I was able to go through, go to 26, three and 27. As you can see, I was able to make a, a huge jump on not only my categories, but also my lean skills. So again, very important to make sure that you are um, taking a look at what units you're using for your supports to help other people out, but then also for that, um, uh, boo to be able to come through and, and do that so uh, if you're wondering well I need to find a, a quick way to be able to to get that connecting boost you can actually quickly go through um, let me see who who was uh, who was that again uh, just want to make sure so uh, klepto man I want to make sure klepto man is still here as one of my units because I got a really nice connection there and I don't want to lose it but I may not have much of a choice if I want to show you guys. Okay, so I'm going to lose out on a little bit, but right away, if I quickly change, you'll see I lost, but you can quickly go through and see how people are connecting and right away seeing how everything goes through uh, with that red bar. So at my current friends list is not helping me uh, to be able to make my next run. So it's actually going to be a, a more painful run on trying to to hit something that's going to be good. So I may not, because of my friends, want to go through and use it. I don't have to actually go through and, and, and look at the detail screen. I can just quickly select anyone and I'm going to know right away. So um, 
using these it just is not going through i've got rihu here that looks like he's going to be the best um actually ash right there is going to be pretty close as well um so i'm, I'm going to be hurting on this one so i may not want to use my absolute best connectors for this demonstration because when you use a connector you cannot reuse them again uh, for a certain amount of time period so if i actually cl click on my connectors down there it says a connector who has been used cannot be selected again before 6 p.m pacific standard time so in other words only once per day you can only use a connector um so that's why you're going to want to be very careful when you're going through so i'm actually going to change my connectors out um just because i don't want to lose my connectors and i'm actually going to be a little sad because i'm going to be losing out on some good things here but that's okay we're just going to go through and just kind of show you guys for the overall how to play this so once you've made your selections and you know what's going on i understand i don't have the best unit right now we're actually going to go through and hit attack and this is going to be when we're actually going to be jumping in taking a look be much at all just because i know that my chain battle wasn't at full and then also see right there only forty-eight thousand when I, you don't have a high chain but right away you can kind of see my my accumulation kind of see where everything goes through now, the next thing you want to do is make sure when you're selecting your friends, you want to give them thumbs ups because that's going to make a huge difference on whether or not uh, you're going to be getting some uh, jewels and things of that nature. Uh, so you're going to get jewels. They're going to get jewels. Everybody's going to kind of get the extra treasure to be able to go and summon for the skill orbs because that's one of the best things that you can do uh, utilize for this. So, um Again, kind of a quick uh, overview, kind of show you guys how Explosive Chain Battle works. What I do plan on doing is every chain Explosive Chain Battle that comes out, I do want to kind of give a little bit more of a how-to guide and who you guys should be selecting. So please make sure you guys go and check out that video. Um, so that way, once you've learned how the chain battle is going to actually work, then you can actually go through and say, okay, now I want to strategize specifically how I can help with this particular chain battle. So that'll be in a separate video. So thank you guys very, very much for everything you guys have done. I greatly appreciate all your support. If you haven't done so already, please make sure you guys are hitting that red subscribe button and give me a thumbs up for today's video if you liked it. And let me know down in the comments below if you have any questions in regards to explosive chain battle or any other how-to questions that I can maybe be able to answer you you guys in future videos for the Dokkan 101. Thank you guys very much. Greatly appreciate each and every one of you, and we'll talk to you guys later.